Yes, 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 yes. Welcome back to another episode of One Away Dragons TV. Baby, it's your host, Lemon23, a.k.a. Lemetheus, right-handed Zeus. Now, let me just jump straight into this news. I got a few good things to talk about today. First of all, that game from Capcom, Akami, I told you before they was talking about releasing it. It looks like it's going to be a world wide release of December 12th and it's going to be 1999. Now, I keep telling you Capcom is like the remastered hookers of the industry right now. All they keep doing is keep making these games over and over. I don't know who's sitting around asking for these games cuz the games they remaking ain't selling millions. But I guess there's people that's out there that didn't get a chance to play these games and they get a chance to play now. Now this is Great news, great news, great news. Fortnite, that four-player cooperative battle game against zombies, building forts, and all its other craziness, is getting a mode like PUBG. Yes! Yes! Now, will it be good? I don't know. But it's supposed to be. PvP mode, and it's going to be separate from the PvE mode. A hundred players on on dedicated servers, and it's coming out September 26. For you people out there that enjoy that game, because it was fun doing that demo. I got that game. Maybe when they do PvP, I'll play even more. I will check this out. Now, this is also great news. Now, I updated y'all about the mini um, PUBG and the new mini and the new gun. That's the mini 14 that uses five. 0.56 millimeter rounds that's a nato round they got a big patch coming out this week and i'm just going to go over a couple things that's in the patch i'm going to leave the link in the description so you can check it for yourself but distance shadow synchronize will be enabled which means what i reported before with guys turning down the level of detail to the lowest setting the game will be across all boards synchronized to ensure fair gameplay. For you P PC cheaters out there that lemon be on PUBG killing you with that controller, now you're going to see what I see. It may not be as good as I see it, but you ain't going to be able to take down the foliage, foliage in the game and obstacles and everything else. So you be able to see people clearly because you turn down the game to low settings. And they will be adding fog to the game. Yes, they will be adding fog to the game to give you a different element. And they said it's going to be random and it ain't going to be all the, all the time fog. It's going to be rare occasions, but you will be able to get it. If you go into the test service, you'll be able to test out the fog more often because they're testing it out in there. Now. This is always great news. We know that game, The Evil Within 2, is dropping. But they said the main character will be fighting many new villains. First of all, that game looks graphically intense over the first part, which didn't look well, but the game was fantastic. So they said he's going to be fighting plenty of new enemies. There's an action trailer. I will be putting the link in the description so you can check that for yourself. Now, Xbox Live Indies Development Program will be gone September 29th. September 29th. That's going to be the start of the Creator Collection for Xbox One and Windows 10 formats. That's where you can publish your own game through your current Xbox or Windows 10 PC that you make in your house. That's what I'm talking about. Microsoft is giving people opportunities. And he also went on to state, they see good projects out there, they'll give you that free promotion. That's also what I'm talking about. Now, Killer Instinct will be dropping on Steam in the coming weeks. Microsoft will allow cross-play between Steam users, Microsoft Store users, and Xbox one users that is the way to bring the community together don't separate nobody 
Now, if we can get Sony to jump on board and let these developers do crossplay like they want to for the fans of these games they want to, like Battlefield, that would be dope. That would be dope. PlayStation versus Xbox players on Battlefield. Or Call of Duty. Or Rocket League. Let's go, Sony. You're hurting the community by stopping us from playing together. That's all the news I have for you today. Wait a minute! <laughs> hey, PewDiePie. We was listening to your bull crap. I'm sorry. I gotta do better. I don't know why I said these things. It was the heat of the moment. People look up to me. They idolize me. I'm supposed to lead by example. Other YouTubers say that word and it disgusts me. Nope. We peeped that already. It came out too easy for you. Use a bird. Use a bird. You, you, a lot of people watch your channel. You bring a lot of money to YouTube. But as a community, there is no room for the disrespect of anyone's nationality. Stop it. Or slur words. Or stereotype words. Just because you hear other people say it. Or you hear it in rap music because I listen to rap. That's not your place, homeboy. Eminem don't even use the word. And he got nothing but black friends that he grew up in Detroit. Never use the word. You don't get a pass. That's all I got to say about that bird. As always, like and subscribe. You coming to check my channel out. Makes me feel great that you gave me your attention today and on coming videos. I appreciate the fan base. And I'm out, chill.